Let's start with time. Everything in Deep Zoom is aware of time. Tides and currents, weather, the sun and the moon, historical wind direction and strength probabilities. And of course, your position along a route or along multiple routes. Any or all of these can be active simultaneously. It's kind of like everything everywhere all at once. You control time by dragging the time slider back and forth, or you can hit play and change the rate here. By default, the animation duration is set to one day, but let's change that by clicking on the time readout at the bottom of the screen. This shows the animation duration dialog. If you choose a number of days, the animation begins on the day selected on the calendar and runs for that many days. The month or year options are great for visualizing how global wind patterns change throughout the year or how tides and currents change due to the lunar cycle. But more often, you probably want to work with routes. So choose all routes generally. Or if you just want to follow a particular route, choose selected. So how do you create routes? Let's create two routes from Newport to Woods Hole, where we'll stop for the night, and then on to Plymouth. First route, double tap to finish. Second route, and double tap to finish. By the way, you can find and load this trip using the search tool. Find public trips in this area and open it up. Note that both routes start at the same time, which is when the route was first created. But we need the second route to start tomorrow. How do we fix this? You select the second route just by clicking on it, which brings up the routes tab. Now change the departure day by clicking plus one. I could also use the calendar to select any other day. And while I'm here, I could change the speed and the color, the name of the route. And now because I have all routes selected in the time base, the trip duration includes travel time for both routes. Now I need to figure out how late I can leave Woods Hole on the second day and still make it through the Cape Cod Canal before I start fighting the currents. So I move the time slider and therefore our position to the end of the canal and then I can separately play with the departure time and see that it looks like I need to leave around 10.30 to make it through before the current changes. You'll notice here that I'm using the lock button to disconnect the map position from the calculated position along the route. Anytime you want to change the map view independent of the route position, uh, just unlock this button. How do you select something in Deep Zoom? Well, there are multiple ways, but the easiest thing to do is just to click on it. The name of the object selected will flash briefly, and the tab will switch to the details of that object. If you're on larger screens or on phones, you'll need to click the icon to view the details. This works for tide stations, which are little gold squares, currents, which are the arrows, for routes, for markers, for Wikipedia, and for tracks. The buttons along the upper left-hand side of the map toggle visibility of the layers, such as satellite, uh, nautical charts, historical wind direction and intensity, and tides and currents. You can also control the opacity of these layers and show and hide markers in the layers dialog. If animation time is within the forecast window, buttons will appear which allow you to toggle on and off the wind, temperature, and rainfall uh, NOAA GFS predictions. A circle is always shown at the very center of the screen. This is the point for which weather values are displayed, as well as the point for which latitude and longitude are shown in the upper left-hand corner, and you can toggle the format. An arrow with its size proportional to wind strength shows the direction the wind is blowing even when the wind layer is hidden. Trips are the container which stores your routes, settings, tracks, and private markers. Trips are saved to the cloud so that you can access them from anywhere. Note that you can change the departure date for the entire trip and all the routes will be adjusted appropriately. 
public markers are shown on everyone's map. They can contain rich content like this. You can contribute your own private markers to the public map here. DeepZoom is a progressive web app, which allows it to run on any device. It will adapt to the available screen real estate. You can put it on your home screen, which is especially important on phones since the title bar and footer bars for the browser disappear, which give you more space for the app to run. Hey, happy deep zooming.